Georgia and it's not supposed to be this cold. It's like 20 degrees and my Georgia blood just cannot handle this. But hey, hi, how you doing? <laughs> Naturally, I have the best intros on YouTube. I know it, you're welcome. Well, good morning. It is bright and early on a Friday morning. It's almost the weekend, woo woo. And I was actually going to stay home today and stay in my bed and watch the new season of Sex in the City, the newest one. But I am incapable of sitting still and watching TV and doing nothing. I, I literally am not able to do those things. I just, I always want to be working. I'm addicted to work and this channel and you guys and anyways, a lot of blah, yada, yada. So I decided I was going to film today instead, which it's so cold. I would much rather be in the house, but you know what? Let's just do it. So we are going to a few places today. We're going to a Dayersville, Georgia, and there is a few, there's like four spots I hit when I go there. They're all like within five minutes of each other. The first place we are going to is Liz's Antique Mall, and then we'll probably go to Peacock Junction. And then um, there's this other like little like ma and pop, like little thrift store place I stop at. And there's one other place, but I don't know if we're gonna hit it, so, but we'll probably definitely hit at least the first two. So come along, let's go see what we can and also, no, not in also. I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Have arrived. It's found this really beautiful piece of Fostoria glass. It's only, we'll focus, $12. She's a little dirty, but I think she would clean up really well. So, I think we might grab this, as long as it doesn't have any chips or cracks. I wasn't filming, but I did get some stuff out of the case. I found these beautiful uh, earrings. They're $9. I think I'm gonna get them for me, because I just think they're so pretty. They are clip-ons, but let's see. Uh, they're marked, but I, let's see. Mario. I don't know, but they're so beautiful. So I'm gonna get those for me. Then I found this amazing old pin cushion. It's only two fifty. These are nine. And then in this one case, all their stuff was forty percent off. So I grabbed this bracelet, two twenty five with forty percent off. This beautiful pendant, two fifty with forty percent off. This brooch, two dollars forty percent off. This pendant and brooch, two fifty. This brooch, which is two dollars with forty percent off, and these really fun earrings for a dollar fifty with forty percent off. So I'm really happy about all that. I have a plan coming up in the future for these pieces, so stay tuned for that. But yeah. Happy with all of that. That's awesome. I think about this. Um, I think I'm going to put it back because this dirt is a little inset. So I'm afraid it kind of has scratched it up. So I'd rather just be safe than sorry. So it's going to go back home for now. But it's still really pretty. There you go, little piece. She's so happy because the small doesn't have any music playing. Not at all, not even a little bit, which is such a relief because with Christmas, man, they were just blasting Christmas music everywhere I went. So it's so nice for it to be nice and quiet and we can just hang out. Yeah, I'm happy about that. But let's see if we can find some stuff. This is one of my favorite booths at this mall. I love the stuff that they have. It's like all old new stock and a bunch of advertisements and just really unique, fun things. So I always feel like I get at least one thing out of this booth, but I really like how it just looks like an old general store. 
I think it is so fun to shop in. It makes me feel like I'm part of the times, the old times. But yeah, there's, I like that little train thingy, but jiggy right there. Oh, and look at the O's for the bath, for dishes, for clothes. And here's some babies. Look at that one. This is cool. An old chicken feeder. I like these mannequin hands. $42.99. So much to see. I could tell you guys about every piece, but I'm sure you'd rather just see the stuff than to hear me jabber jabber about it. But I actually am not seeing anything like really sticking out to me that I have to have. But still really cool things to take a gander at. I like this. Um, it is Lopez Pottery, which I don't know anything about, but I like it because it's, I think it's more of like a, like a city building, but it still kind of looks like a cottage. And I think it would be really cute on my desk to hold my pencils and pens and scissors. Cause it's like, you know, a withering cottage. So I'm going to get it cause I, I like it. So this is for me. Baby heads. I'm pretty sure I've seen these here before. Oh, and look at this one with the little cutie in it. Uh, $15 for the bag. I just don't, I'm not sure what I would do with that. Here's some other stuff. <laughs> Here's this jewelry box. $6.95. That's not bad. It's plastic. Oh, it's getting harder and harder to get up off the floor. Here's like the back wall where they have all their glass stuff. Here's some pretty gla black glass. I like these, these are always fun. I've sold those before with the heart. That would be good for Valentine's Day, but I don't know, I wanna get something new and exciting that I haven't sold before. That's what I'm looking for. I mean, not too specific or anything. Oh, this is cool. With the Millie, Millie Fiori, $20. Art glass face. Hmm. Oh, it's very heavy. Goodness. What else is there? A lot of clear glass. This is kind of cool. $28. Beautiful vintage perfume model. That's pretty. Milk glass. Best thread for needlework. Oh, I like this plate. This little plate right here. Nine dollars with a slash through it. But I don't see any sign saying that that slash means anything. <laughs> Here's one of these things. One of those things. I know that was very informative. You're welcome. You are welcome. All right, I didn't see anything on the back wall, so let's press forward. I love these vintage fireplaces. I actually have one and it's gonna go in my new office, but just listen to it. It's so relaxing. And all it is, is behind it, it's got like kind of what looks like an aluminum Christmas tree branch. And it's on a rotation and it just rolls like this, kind of like a rotisserie. And it hits against this right here. And it makes that crackling noise. It's so relaxing. Look at this Victorian photo album. It's so pretty. I love the color, of course, and the way it opens. And it's on this little pedestal. And normally there'd be like a little space under here to put stuff. I wonder, maybe if you lift up the last page. But look, it's got pictures in it. But I'm curious about that space. I want to see if I'm not around. 
I'm wrong. Oh no, look, here it is. It's a little drawer. Isn't that fun? I really like this. It's $65 firm, so, but still really pretty. Pretty, pretty. All right, so everything over here is 40% off. So there are some, some things I'm thinking about. It's kind of scarce. But I did find this one clear vase. It's $7 with 40% off. So I think I might grab this and then put it in my cart. Doop, doop. And I'm also kind of thinking about this was pretty. It's definitely older. It's $12.50 and then 40% off. It's not marked. Hand blown. I like the color. So I'm thinking about that. I haven't really decided. And what else was there? I kind of like this teacup and saucer. I don't even know why I don't just grab it because it's only a dollar and 40% off. So it'd be 60 cents. But I just like how it kind of looks like lightning. So I might pick that up. Um, this would probably be like a booze item. And then this, I think I'll pick up too. It is a milk glass painted vase. It's only $2 and then 40% off. And then look at this canister set. Now, don't ask me what language this is in. Um, Cause I, I couldn't tell you. I'd certainly have to look it up, but they are so heavy. They're like pot metal. Um, I don't know how much they are, but they're pretty cool. Let's see, are you in the lid? No. Oh no, I just think they're interesting, but they're not priced, so that's a bit of a bummer. Here's this really big teapot for $27.50. This is pretty, this hand-painted apothecary like perfume bottle. That'd be $4 with 40% off, so I might grab that too. And here's some pink glass grapes for $17.50. And that would be a good dog food bowl for my pud man. Because he's like 150 pounds. How much is this? Um, no price. So we'll have to see about this. Yeah, because this would, that would be about how much dog food he eats. <laughs> I love this. I want this so bad. Look at it. It's so cool. This old toolbox. How much is it? Four seventy-five. dollars marked down from five seventy-five. Oh, I just love it. I love it, but I don't have a place for it, but I love it. I also really like this. That poor animal, but the colors in this piece are really cool. Oh, uh, da, 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 da. 85 firm. And this is pretty. 18, that's not bad. I don't know them, but I like it. Oh, and they look at this big Santa man. He's on sale for 58, but look at him. He's so cool. Oh no, 38. I may have to get you. All right, Santa. You're coming home with me. And, ooh, I like this bookshelf a lot too. I wonder. 65. Isn't that cute? I like it. And this is pretty too. There's a mirrored tray. 38. This booth has, like, the bigger things, not so many smalls. I've always wanted to find one of these blankets at, like, a thrift store. 175 Yep, that's about right. Oh my goodness, look at the rack on that guy. Those are some impressive antlers, sir. <sighs> well, this is... The, like, second-to-last booth in the mall. And then we're going on to another store. So, let's head to the last booth and... Uh, there you go, Santa. Carry on. Wasn't that thrilling uh, footage? 
just had you at the edge of your seat the whole time. Dang it, you know, I hate it when I like plan to film for the day, right? And then I don't find anything like out of this world. I just, I love when I can find something really cool and exciting with you guys. And when I don't, I feel so like deflated. But that was only the first stop. We still have a couple more places to go. So <sighs> fingers crossed and uh, put good thrifting energy on me. Good picking energy on me. And it's so cold. Let's head to the next place. Mall. And in Dayersville, Georgia. This is a, it's a small little place, but I've done pretty good here. Um, the turnaround rate isn't like the highest, but I've still found some good things here. So let's head on in. And look at these, right? Right bang when I walked in the door. It's the Valentine's Day buyer's choice. They're usually like carolers Christmas, but uh, these are so cute. So these are going in the cart. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna have to get these two. Sorry, I gotta talk loud and fast because the music is right in front of me. But look at this: three containers with content, sixteen fifty, and all three of these are full of jewelry. So this is gonna be really fun to go through. So I'm gonna grab these two. These, they're vintage transfers. They're dollar twenty-five a set. I got these swan ones. Look at these chicken ones. Barnyard romance and what is this one pretty rose motifs for pillow slips and sheets so i think these are really fun um the transfers are still in there no clue if they'll still work but i still liked the graphics and everything so i'm gonna grab these and then i'm getting a bunch of postcards but this one's like a little postcard book it says easter morning and look at the illustrations in this it is so pretty look at that with the kitty cat so I'm gonna get this and hold on to it until Easter time. And here's those ladies again. Really, really pretty antique piece. And then I'm gonna grab this joyful Easter one for $3.50. This one I'm gonna hold on to until St. Patrick's Day. And then this one's for me. Look at this Santa one. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. I love this one, so I'm going to hold on to that one. And then I'm getting this Easter one and this Easter one. And then I'm going to also hold on to this one for St. Patrick's Day. And then for Valentine's Day, I got this little kitty cat one. And then this one. And this one. And this one. Oh, and there's one more. So there's this one. And then look at this one also for St. Patrick's Day. Love these. So I'm going to get actually all of those. Yay. Unfortunately, I can't like film as I'm shopping because I have to go to a quiet place because the music's kind of loud. But I found these super cool Bakelite goggles right here. I actually think my husband might want these for weld. I don't know if they're safe enough for welding, but if they are, he might actually want these. But... They are Bakelite, really, really cool. Um, and these are $12.50, which is really quite a steal for those. And then I'm gonna get this sterling silver baby mirror. Isn't that so pretty? It is sterling and it is $9.50. And then look at these. Now these are a little more expensive, but these are worth, I kid you not, like $200. Um, but they are $27.50 and they are in excellent condition and these flip like all the way around and these go side to side. These are just a really cool find. Again, I'm probably going to see if the husband wants these first, but if he doesn't, they will be available on my eBay. I also got this out of that same case. It is um, Walton Staffordshire. This is no joke from like the mid 1800s and they even know it, but they only have it for $9.50. And I don't see any like really big issues. I mean, of course, there's somewhere there's some crazing and a little chip right there, but that's a very old chip. Um, but like it doesn't appear that she was ever decapitated or anything like that. So I was really excited to find this as well. We're doing pretty good here. Too good in the store. I just found this whole stack of old sheet music, and this one's the most expensive at four dollars, but it's also the thickest. Um, but I love this for Valentine's Day. But then there's this one, Feather Your Nest for a dollar. 
the little velocity for a dollar fifty. Mother, this one I wish was in better condition. Um, it's pretty, pretty worn and torn, but uh, so I might hold off on that one. Star of the Sea, not too into that one. I like this one, and I like this one, and this one's fifty cents. Oops. And this one's 25 cents and 250. I love this one. This one's my favorite. And this one. So yeah, I think I'm gonna grab all of these too. Hip hip hooray, we're doing good. My cart is filling up quite quickly. Ta-da! Grab this pillow because it is 24.50, but look at that pillow. Is that not darling? I love that the cat's wearing shoes. That is so cute. And then here's this Valentine. Still on its like original little sheet. I think that's darling too. It's $8.50. Oh, here's some of these off the thing. Six dollars. I like I think I like the like older Valentines, like the antique ones. She's cute. It's not worth a set without ya. That is cute. Ugh. She's three dollars. I don't want to drop you. There you go. Oh, and for some reason, I really like these pink camels. Do I need a pink camel? No. But do I like them? Yeah. Yeah, I do like them. I love this booth. She always does such a good job. Such a good job. Can't talk. Vintage ceramic brown puppy. You are a vintage ceramic brown puppy. You're awfully darling. What else we got in here? Do do do. She's pretty. $39 firm. And I like this lavender bath tin. That's really pretty. $9.50. And what else we got in here? I, look at this lamp. Is that not so cool? I wish I could ship that because that is so cool. It's $79. It's a corset lamp. That is just nifty. Nifty, nifty. I like this too, how she did that. $265. And yeah. And that's mostly it. But really, really cute stuff. And she does a really good job setting everything up. So I like this booth. Check, 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 check it out. Bargain basket, one to three dollars. Let's take a gander. I see this is kind of cool. Oh, I hate that it was broken. I love the gold butterfly, but whack, whack. that's why you're in the bargain box. This milk glass piece right here. What else we got? What else we got? This music. I'm over you, music. That's kind of fun. One dollar. I might grab that for a dollar. Mugs, what is this little tiny one right here? What are you, little tiny mug? Uh, uh, uh I don't know what it said. It said something. It's so small. I can't read you. And then there's this little uh creamer. And what are you? What are you? You're awfully worn little picture, but I still kind of like it. But I have so many of just random things around my house. I'm trying to be a little more picky but this is kind of cool no or is it really not what would I do with such a thing even for a dollar I think I'm gonna leave it because I just don't know what I'd do with it back into the bargain basket you go and I see a baby how much are you baby a dollar okay you can come home with me for a dollar after I just got done saying I'm trying to cut back on the random things that um that I buy. But I actually think I'm gonna include this in my mystery box giveaway. So that's where you're gonna go. You're gonna go to someone watching. So yay, there you go, baby. I absolutely love them. They are this this canister set, and I don't know if you can tell, but they are this beautiful like robin's egg blue color they are made by vander imports san francisco made in japan i love the wear on them and you get flower 
sugar, um, coffee, and tea. And I just love these. I love the font. It's so mid-century, but the color can like go cottage. It can go, oh, I just love this set so much. It's $35, which is like more than I really want to pay for resale, but I keep putting them back, but then they end up in my cart again every time because they're so cool. So I'm thinking about these. Um, oh, they're so cool. Awesome letter opener. Look at that. And it's got this, this little guy right over here, but look at that um, blade part. And then the back with the wing. I love this. It did come up right here, but I think I can totally fix that because it looks like the solder just came loose. But this is beautiful. And I think he's so cool. So I'm going to grab this too. All these old books and I found this one the waters the water babies I collect these books there's so many different covers and versions of it but I've never found one in the wild I always get them on eBay or online but my first in the wild one um, it's $20 but 10% off so I am super excited I'm gonna check out and check these out and see if I see any more because this is awesome really really good that was probably my best antique store picking i've done in a while i didn't find like anything that was like a holy grail or anything like that but i found some really cool things i'm super happy my total spend was 285 dollars which is a lot yes i know it's a lot but those buyer choice um valentine's day carolers they were 20 dollars a piece so that right there is 80 but I sold the Halloween ones of those around Halloween time and I did really, really well. And I also got them there. Uh, the Christmas Caroler ones, they don't do that well, but the like other holiday ones do really well. Like those probably will sell anywhere from $75 to $150 a piece on those. So although I put 80 in, I'm hoping to get around 400 um, out. So what's that? $320 profit on those is what I'm hoping so that'll be good and then the um what else did I buy that was a little expensive the canister set I did decide to get the canister set it was $35 I am planning on bringing those to my live sale my first solo live sale on Tuesday on my channel um 7 30 eastern if this is being posted before it there you go but I don't know how much more they would do over $35, but I just thought they were super cool, really unique, lightweight, so they'll be easy to ship. Um, so I took a gamble on them. I really like them, and I feel like when I really like something, that's my gut's way of telling me to get it. So I got it. Uh, and what else? Oh, and the other expensive thing was those really cool, like, steampunky safety goggles. Those were $27.50. Uh, but like I said in the video, those can go upwards of like $125 if the husband doesn't want them. And then I got a lot of other really fun stuff. Nothing like super expensive other than those items, but it all adds up and it adds up quickly. But that was a lot of rambling per usual. But thank you guys so much for joining me at the Withering Cottage. Bye guys.